Last night in the conference call, I talked about this trend chart. I talked about what we need to do. And I said if we're in an uptrend, which we are this morning, I marked this up when we had a trade here this morning. If the trend chart's in an uptrend, all green bars, we only have two setups we look for. We look for a retracement trade, and we look for a momentum trade. A momentum trade is going to happen when you have all green bars like this, all green bars. This is when you look for a momentum trade on the momentum Fibonacci arrows over here. That's when you want to find a momentum trade. If you get a red bar that posts against the trend that closes, remember we have a trend filter built into the Renko bar. There's a few filters built into it where if it closes red, you know you're catching the wrongly positioned or counter trend traders at that level. We did the same thing yesterday. We had five trades in the morning in a row that worked yesterday like this. If you look, when that bar closes red, we're going to look for a retracement. As soon as that bar closes red, you know you're catching wrongly positioned traders. Look for a pullback, a deeper retracement. Immediately, you want to go to this chart to your right. This is the sim dot chart or the, we call it the five sim Renko. If you want to look for a trade to fire off right at the sim dots within a couple ticks, if it comes down with a couple ticks, as long as we don't close below it, we know we're in the right spot to take along. As soon as I came within a couple ticks of this, you can see I had positive market delta down here. It's positive over 390, anything over 200. But look at what I went over last night to pair this up. Look at my vertical bar. My vertical bar indicates there's a pause in sellers. The sellers and buyers have equalized. We trade order flow. Look for a move up. Did we have positive market delta? Absolutely. Look at the positive market delta that came in. I'll shift it over for you. There's your positive market delta between the bid and the ask. Positive 396, a huge order balance, double what we normally look for. Anything over 200 is a big order imbalance between the bid and the ask. Big order imbalance comes in right at our support catching the wrongly positioned traders, and guess what? They got stopped out. So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that we look for a momentum or retracement trade. Now, what we're looking for now, it's all green bars. So if news comes out and we continue higher, then we're going to look for what? We're going to not look for a retracement trade. We're going to look for a momentum trade on this chart over to the far right. That's how we do the two setups. We use this chart for retracement trading, which nailed the low this morning. It said, two back-to-back -back vertical bar arrow move move up uh, moves up but if you look at the uh, the re, um, momentum bar we're all green on the on the crude right now so when news post here in about three minutes if this continues higher and it's all green we're going to use this chart if we close a red bar we're going to look for a deeper retracement and try to look for sim dots to fires in the trade but notice how how the Right there, how this is how we use market delta. Look at that. Nailed the low with my vertical bar came up, positive 396. Stop loss is always two ticks below the swing low. Beautiful looking chart.